Hey YouTube, Tony with TG Law Maintenance. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the All-American Sharpener and some pros and some cons. So I hope you guys stick around for the entire video all the way to the end. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is some pros to the All-American Sharpener. And uh, one of the pros is the price point is fairly uh, in the middle. It's not the most expensive and it's definitely not the cheapest, but it's very well built for the price. Okay, so the second pro is that it can fit almost every single blade in this space here. Whether it's a commercial zero turn blade or a Toro Time Master blade, which I use, or my little 21 inch mower blade will fit inside there. Now, pro number three, and I think this is the most important one for me as a homeowner, I know what's in my yard. I don't have big sticks or rocks. I have nice uh, lush grass. So for this one, I kind of like to have my blades super sharp. So I have an extra set of blades that I just use in my yard and I make them a lot sharper than I would if I was going out cutting 20 yards because uh, I know what's in my yard. I'm not going to hit sticks, stumps, rocks. So I feel like this is very important. I'm not sure if all the other brand of sharpeners can get your blade to 20 degrees of a turn of a dial, uh, like the all American sharpener, but, uh, don't quote me on that cause I'm not positive, but I believe this is the only jig where you can adjust it right here with the thumb screw. Now that we went over, uh, three pros, let's talk about a few cons. And then, um, after that, we're going to sharpen up these blades and I'll let you watch that. Um, but one of the cons, I'm not sure if it's really a big deal um, because I know that it happened to me and uh, it has to do with what hand you are. And I'm lefty and this is kind of built for a righty if you want to hold uh, the handle, which I'll kind of demonstrate here for you now, right now. One of the cons that I ran into, which really isn't a big deal, but it could be to some, is that I am left-handed. So, as you can see, that is the reason why I use the row because normally I would put the handle right there where the pin's at, but Ryobi is one of the very few, or if not the only one, that allows you to put the handle up top. So that definitely compensates for me uh, being lefty. Okay, so that's con number one. Now let's get into con number two. And if anything, this is probably uh, not really that big of a deal because for most sharpeners, you have to do this. Even if you had a vise that you're putting your blade on, this has to be done. So, and that's finding something uh, to mount it to. So here I mounted it to my bench and uh, it seems to work out fairly well. The only bad spot is, is I always got to wheel this closer to the outside of the garage door to actually sharpen my blade. So I'm blowing the sparks uh, outside unless I build a little cover, which I might do here in the near future. Okay, let's get into the last one. I think I gave you three pros, which there's probably so many more that I'm forgetting. And I'm going to give you three cons. They're really not cons, but it's just preference. And this one has to do with preference also. So what we're gonna talk about here for con number three is the angle grinder. Now, I know in the past that some, if you have a battery angle grinder, that the battery might hit the bar. And I'm kinda gonna demonstrate that for you uh, real quick. So I know some people, uh, I guess, complained that the battery would hit right there. But as you can see, the Ryobi one does not. So this actually works out uh, really, really well for me. And also that I'm lefty, that I can put the handle there. So to me, the Ryobi grinder works great. Well, that last con there, I know that the All-American Sharpening, uh, the company, the team, there was a way that you can move the arm, but I'm not quite sure where you can flip the arm around in case you do have a grinder where the battery might hit the, that arm. Uh, just go to their YouTube page and they have tons of videos that does a lot more demonstrating than I did right here. This was just a quick little video. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please,
hit that like for me. That'll go a long way. And let's get into uh, sharpening some blades. I'm gonna kind of walk you through step by step of uh, how I set the blade up, how I put the uh, degree, how I balance the blade, and all the nine yards. So stick around. Right here, I'm just uh, showing you the pins because for your grinder, you might need a different size pin. I know that for the corded uh, grinder that I had, Ryobi one, I needed a bigger pin than I do here with the battery powered uh, 18 volt grinder that I purchased now. So as you can see, there's a smaller pin in there. So here's everything that I'm using. Uh, of course, the All-American Sharpener, that's what this video is about. I'm using a Ryobi uh, One Plus HP brushless four and a half inch uh, angle grinder. I'm using a Diablo four and a half inch 40 grit flap disc. I got some glasses, which are important, some gloves, and of course the blades that I'm gonna sharpen. That's from my uh, Toro Tie Master. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make sure that this pin here is sized up for the center of the blade. Now when putting your blade on, we're gonna screw it on there real tight. We're gonna make sure that we got this on 30 degrees. Now when we stick the pin in here, we wanna make sure that the center of the blade is lined up in the middle. You can kind of scratch it to make sure. That looks pretty good. After you get it all sized up, you wanna take a half inch uh, wrench here and make sure that that bolt is tight so this pin will not move anymore. Glasses. Okay, I'm gonna take one pass to make sure I got this where we need it. Looks pretty good. We're going to flip this around. One thing that you noticed is I just go up the blade, up the blade. After you pull it off there, you want to sand the back down just a hair. just to get those burrs off the back. And you're gonna put it on here, kind of spin it up, make sure it's level. Always use the tape to check, we're about one inch. So we're good there. Here's the sandpaper that I used, just a 100 grit Diablo little sanding block. So. At All American Sharpener works really good, but with every product, you're gonna have some good, uh, you're gonna have some bad. This one for me is a 100% great product for me. And it, YouTube says that 97% uh, who watch my video or not subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button, help out my channel, hit that like, and uh, go check out the All-American Sharpener. It might be something for you instead of taking your blades uh, and letting someone else sharpen them. It's very simple, uh, very effective, and uh, it's definitely worth the price. Now I know I went over three pros and three, I guess you can call them, 
cons and uh, check out a few more of these videos uh, before they run out of here in five seconds. Four, three, two, one.